Hi all, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Topic that we have today is from paper three, that is financial markets and product. And uh, it's from chapter swaps. And topic is interest rate swap valuation or valuation of interest rate swap, either ways. So we, are, we will understand how to value interest rate swap. And yes, uh, you will note it that it will make you think beyond the exam. That's the whole objective that we try to uh, achieve out of our learnings. So this was the question that was asked in one of the forums. Uh, there is a bank who has entered into the four-year uh, plain vanilla swap exactly three years ago. So total maturity is four year, remaining maturity is three years. So remaining life is just one year. Remaining life of this swap is one year. The agreement of swaps are to pay 6.5% annually. When you say pay, just keep it, ensure that you write it in minus based on annual compounding. And this is a take count convention. Fixed rate on 50 million. So notional is 50 million, dollar 50 million. And you are paying 6.5% on that and uh, receive one year London Bank inter uh, LIBOR basically the continuous compounded LIBOR for one year is currently this so you need to be very careful so this is uh, interest rate that you will use for discounting uh, the one year LIBOR at the beginning of the one period was 6.25 percent so this rate so basically situation is you are paying fix so this is your outflow and inflow is a flow rate that is one year LIBOR. Okay, and one year LIBOR at the beginning of this period when the reset was done was 6.25%. So essentially you would be Me. So essentially you would be receiving 6.25% and paying 6.5% and the discount rate. So there, there are three categories of discount uh, rates in this type of question. We'll talk about that in uh, upcoming slides, but this is high level. The question can be summarized. Notional 50 million, you are paying 6.5% on that and receiving 6.25% on that. And one year annual discounting is 5.7%. These are the four key things that you have been given and you have been asked the value of the swap. That's what you are asked. And yes, uh, I mean, eventually if you look at question, it may appear very tricky, but trust me, you can just calculate in 60 seconds. So uh, act wisely. I mean, uh, answering one wrong question will cost you $10 a big no at least for these category of questions uh, there would be a difficult category in exams that's that's that can't be denied it at all but yeah i, I mean uh losing ten dollars on these kind of questions is absolutely not recommended so like think wise and uh, like you can reach out to us for making you think in such a way that uh, you moment you look at these kind of questions, you get an answer. I mean, you get at least indicative answer in your mind. So to be honest, if you look at this, you are paying higher and receiving lower. Somehow you can just immediately drop these two options. You are not going to gain out of this. So uh, that that's the that's how it can be thought of. And yeah, don't worry. We'll we'll solve this question at uh, just with the one line of calculation. So we will try to help you out. So, uh, I I imagine that when you would have looked at the question, your your face reaction would have been like this. But yeah, I want you to be like this. We are trying to help you out with the easy solution for this question. So please, uh, do just take it easy. I mean, of course, you will get three, uh, get through these kind of questions. So uh, again, coming back, so total maturity of swap was four years. Currently, we are standing here. We are at a three years. And uh, yeah, the key concept here is 
when you're valuing a swap, value of a floating rate bond is equal to the notional at a settlement date. So we are just saying that this is a four year and uh, it was started exactly three years. So currently we are standing here. So we are at a reset date. So at a reset date, please do make a note of this point. It's very important. If you are at a reset, your value of a floating leg is equal to the notional. Please, please, please make a note of this point. This is a key point that will get you an answer for this question. If you are standing at a reset date, it will, so value of floating rate bond is equal to notional at the reset date. Now one may ask how, I mean, we were talking about swap and uh, how this bond came suddenly in the picture. So I'll explain you that in the next slide. So see, IRS can be thought of when you are paying, say, 6.5% uh, and receiving 6.25%. So this leg can be thought of fixed bond, wherein you have issued fixed bond. In this case, because you are paying this and receiving this, you have issued fixed rate bond on which you are paying coupon of 6.5%. So it can be thought of fixed rate bond, which you have issued. And this is something, a floating rate bond that you have purchased and uh, you are receiving coupon on that, coupon of 6.25% on that. So that's why we talk about swap as a, so you can think of interest rate swap as bond fix and bond floating. So the interest rate swap is combination of fixed bond and a floating bond. It can be easily thought of that. And as I said that there are three key rates in these kind of question. One is fixed rate, one is floating rate, and one is a rate at which you discount. In this case, only because uh, one year maturity was remaining. Yeah, only one year maturity was remaining. That's why you have one discounting rate or one year rate which you are, which you will use for discounting. There could be more com. In fact, this is an easy scenario uh, relative to exam. In exam, you may have one or two time windows wherein you have to discount your fixed leg and it compare it with a floating leg. So yes, let's solve it. Uh, as I said that uh, we will try to value this and this. And we will see that if we add these up, what is the value that we get? First, I'll touch upon this because, because it's quite straightforward as explained in the previous slide. So value of a floating leg bond. So value of, so this one, value of float bond would be equal to $1.50 million in this case because we are at a settlement date. At a settlement date, value of a floating leg is equal to notional amount. Please make a note of it. I mean, there is an intuition behind it. But yeah, I mean, at this point, because uh, I mean, exams are going on. Please, for exam point of view, make a note of it. So value of a floating rate bond equal to notional. I'm repeatedly iterate. I mean, I'm emphasizing on this point because this is the only key point that is tested in the exam. If you are aware of it or not. Another one is like a value of a fixed rate bond on which what we are going to get. So there are two things that are pending. So only one year is remaining at, at a maturity. I will receive the coupon that is 6.25% of 50 million and my principal back that is 50 million. I'll add these up, discount it at 5.75% for one year. That will get me the value of my fixed leg. So let me just write what I'm going to get at one year, 6.25% into 50 plus $50. That is my principal back. This I will discount it at 5.75%. So let's see what that value comes to. So 6.25% of 50 would be equal to 3.125. Yeah, I mean, just divide this by two and uh, get the value. So it would be equal to 3.125 plus 50 
into e to the power minus 5.75 percent so essentially you are just trying to discount 53 at 0 0.0575 so that would be equal to 53 into 0 0.944122 and this would be equal to 50.27449 so essentially you were expected to calculate this only and this you are paying because you are a fixed payer and receiving is 50 plus. So 50 plus minus 50.27, it would be equal to minus 0.2744 million dollars. That would be value of my interest rate swap. So let's look at the question. So that's the value of the interest rate swap that is loss of or uh, 270k around for this interest rate swap today so you might have noticed a very simple i mean it just you just have to calculate this calculation one liner calculation offset this with 50 and get the value of the swap and as i said that because you are paying higher and receiving lower two options b and c we can easily uh just drop and uh, just try to find which one is correct from a and d and yes, uh, this was a poll that was run today on the WhatsApp group channel. Uh, so wishing you all the best for people who are appearing in May 2024. And uh, for level two also, wish you all the best. For level one people who are appearing, if you think we can, I mean, I see good uh, good number of people for level one, 23 plus 11 plus nine. So throughout the year around 20, 43 people would be appearing for level one. So, I mean, if you think that we can, uh, we can address you in a best way from for your study purpose, we can think you make you think beyond the exam. Please do consider us for our, uh, for your level two coaching. I mean, uh, we would be happy to cater you, and uh, level two people wish you all the best as well. And uh, so, if you if you are done and if you wish to, uh, work with us as a faculty or a content creator please do get in touch with our team or just drop an email at this email address along with your cv our team would get in touch with you for further discussion uh, i mean yeah of course you need some basic writing pad etc and of course you have to get through the demo process but yeah i mean uh, if you are done and if you are very much confident that you can you have that level of explanation uh, you can demonstrate cost, uh, concepts using the practical demonstration. Yeah, please do. Please feel free to apply on the given email address. Uh, we'll our team which get in touch with you. And yes, uh, try to learn in a way that uh, it's it's the only way. I mean, which no one can take with you. I mean, uh, of course, uh, like a lot of stuff. Uh, quite common common thing corporate politics etc you might be coming across in your day-to-day -day life but it's learning that makes you different from everything and trust me i mean if you are if you are thorough on your learning i mean eventually it will impact your career trajectory in a very positive way so focus on learning learning and learning thoroughly and yes, these are the things that we offer. And if you are interested or if you have got any customized requirement to learn any of these topics, please do get in touch with our team. And yes, uh, if you are facing difficulty only in a quants, then also we have got uh, special packages for you. So please do get in touch with our team. And yes, please do subscribe to our channel, like and comment as well. Uh, it takes a lot of efforts to come up with videos like it uh, our teams are continuously working addressing your queries on your whatsapp and uh, creating content picking up the questions for videos like this so please do uh, like comment subscribe and share with your colleagues who are uh, studying in the similar areas or working in a similar areas and they would like to upskill also i mean say for example if they are if they are frm cfa and if they want to upskill the skills in terms of say data visualization in python any other tools we would be happy to cater them 
So please do get in touch with our team if you have got any customized requirement. And once again, request, please do subscribe to our channel and like, comment. If you really find our videos useful, it would really help us getting better reviews. Thank you for watching and staying connected till the end of the video. Thank you.